morning to you. It must be 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time somewhere out there in the globe because it's time for another edition of Hardison's Tips. Hi, I'm your host, Brandon Hardison, on this beautiful Wednesday, the 28th day of the year. For those sales brother and sisters, we have a few days left to reach our objective, so we won't keep you long because you need to hit the streets. We're going to finish up our series, which we were talking about real estate and is real estate selling for you? Because it's not for everyone just like the different parts of verticals of major account, key account, up and down the street, in-home sales, retail sales, automotive sales, is being a real estate agent really something you want to tackle? So ending it up for today, I want you to think about this. As a real estate agent, you'll spend of each and every day working directly with clients, whether they're buyers, sellers, renters. And keep in mind, it won't always be during business hours. That means that you have to sacrifice some of your personal time, time that you wanted to spend with your families and friends. And if something pops up at the last minute, it may mean canceling your existing plans. Now, as a selling agent, you'll spend time preparing listing presentations, taking photographs of properties, straight homes, so they show well, marketing properties, and also hosting open houses. Once again, no matter what's going on in our life, we have to be upbeat, ready to play the game, because this is how you get paid. When you're excited about something, the customer will be excited about something. When you see something that's unique, you get the customer to feel. If there's something you wanna downplay, don't show it to them that much, but if it comes up, be excited. Here's how we're gonna work through that. As a buyer's agent, you'll spend time combining multiple listing services so we can find suitable listings and sending them to potential buyers. I can tell you right now, inventory is low, meaning that single family homes are hard to get. We don't know what's going on with the commercial space. So that's another opportunity if you look at it. Even when it comes to multi-units, people do not have enough inventory. So this is a good time to get in. But my question to you, are you comfortable working with? Can you maintain enthusiasm and professionalism even when you have a tricky or demanding client? It is not for everyone. But for those that do stay on, Most real estate agents and brokers don't earn a salary per se. Instead, they make money through commissions, which are usually a percentage of the selling price of the property or less frequently a flat. In general, commissions are paid only when you settle a transaction. Ultimately, this means that you can be working hard for days, weeks, even months without taking home money at all. Like other commission-based jobs, it can be feast or famine. Now, the average starting off point for a real estate agent comes to about $57,274. Now, remember, you're just starting out. So, of course, you want to do a sale. You really don't keep the entire commission that's because commissions are usually shared with other agents and brokers and yes you're going to need team solution selling for many of the things that you're doing for example the commission might be split 
four ways. The listing agent, the listing broker, the buyer's agent, the buyer's agent broker. So look at some examples. If we look at homes, look at your percentages, look what you are bringing in. If it makes sense with the numbers and you still have the passion for doing it, please do so. But please don't go into something where you know you're not going to get your return on your investment the way you were looking for. But you do have the financial reserve that's always going to be there week to week. So the bottom line, I guess what I'm saying to you is that if you're comfortable in your heart with these realizations that are taking place in this e industry and you enjoy hard work and meeting a lot of people, this can afford you a very comfortable lifestyle, better than many. But just like our brothers and sisters in key account and major account, it's not a one sit shop. It takes weeks and months, depending on the inventory that's out there of homes and commercial businesses. But as a career, a real estate agent or a broker, challenges just like in anything, but the rewards are also great. You could be an agent or an appraiser or a professional investor. You might decide to work strictly with residential properties, and that's okay. Or perhaps you are more interested in commercial building. Whatever you choose, no matter which way you go, please keep in mind that the key to any sales profession is preparation, preparation, preparation. If you're not willing to do the time, it's not worth the effort. But I know you are. Once again, Brad and Hardison on this beautiful Wednesday, April the 28th. We have a couple more days to make it happen. So as always in parting, you go out and you make it a champion.